All right, good morning, everybody. Today's video finds us over here in IOTI again. Anyway, I came up here uh, last week and I saw some cool stuff that I wanted to come back and visit today. So uh, I came over here to see this temple. So uh, this is kind of interesting. This is what Kon Mung Jai, I think is how you say it. Anyway, it's the, uh, it's the temple that's famous for like the Oath of Allegiance. Uh, some of the people that would come in here, like the king would, uh, would demand some of his uh, leaders to take an Oath of Allegiance to swear like fidelity to them. And they would come here and do that at this temple. Uh, this temple here, it's uh, one of those that again, most of the records are lost, so they're not sure exactly when this temple was built. Uh, but some of the records show that it was remodeled in like the 14th century, and it was again remodeled in the uh, like the middle to late Ayutthaya period. So this is an old temple, so we're going to take a look around and see what we see. So here is the ruins of this temple. So there's several structures that are here. Uh, this one here was uh, restored by the Find Arts Department twice. Once in like uh, 1998 or something like that, and then again in 2006. And you can see there's a little bit of uh, support to keep the wall up. The most important part of this temple is the jetty right here. And they say it is the Yoket style which it's uh, one chetty superimposed on the top of another chetty. And you can kind of see the bricks right down there around the base of it. So I guess it must have had a, like a, a chetty built over the top of the chetty, which would have been pretty cool to see. Now there's no access to it, so uh, you just uh, have to walk around the base of it. And there's a few figures that you can still see in the plaster. We'll take a look at it a little bit more. Now there used to be uh, four other temples around here. This road right here used to be a canal, so it's, been, it's since been long filled in, and now it's just a road. But in the old days, uh, there would have been a canal right here, so that would have been the road, and everybody would have came up. There would have been two temples over here on that side of it, and they're long gone. They've been de demolished and put in here for, uh, for housing and stuff like that. And I believe there was another temple on the other side of the canal that would have been right there, and then there was one more to the west that was nearby. Now this temple here predates Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya was founded in 1351 and there was a temple here and they say that it was actually linked to the uh, the prior settlement that was here that was the uh, Ayutthaya kingdom and it had its links to uh, Lotbury and whenever they uh, King Utan moved the capital over here this became uh, like the edge of the city of Ayutthaya and uh, you can see there's uh, a little bit of swamp land over here and we have some geese let's go take a look at the geese while we're before we go up into the ruin so they're over here in this little wetland and uh, they're gonna start uh, honking at me oh they're gonna run away so this is kind of funny so you got a little bit of wetland over here that's kind of on the back side of this temple away from everything and so they were over here finding something to eat. And there is a, the most interesting building to me, other than the Chetty, is this building that's back over in the corner. And we'll take a look at it in a, in a bit. So there were three Chetties right next to this building on the uh, north side. And then there was a couple Chetties that were between that building and uh, the main, uh, the principal stupa in the middle. What's well, interesting, this tree, check out how that tree has just grown up on that wall. I mean, these trees just find a way, but this one is uh, really taken over. And you can kind of see that it's cracking what's remaining of the wall and uh, will eventually cause it to collapse. Okay, let's look inside of it. Yeah, there's a millipede, big old guy. So this is uh, inside of this little uh, wee hand here. You can see some more of the tree roots. This used to be the pedestal up here for the for the Buddha. Now it's just overgrown and then they have uh, this little support that's keeping this uh, wee hand intact and then you can see those that tree how it's done over here. Uh, there's not much left inside of this building it's mainly just uh, just dirt with uh, vegetation 
and then you can see some of the remnants of uh, the Buddhas and stuff that were uh, unearthed when they renovated this temple. So this here, actually, uh, I think this is kind of an interesting stone. I think that is goes back to some of the, like the Khmer part of the religion, which we, it had like a lot of Hindu stuff. And then you have uh, the heads of the Buddhas, the torsos, and in this one over here, you can see this is the, the legs with the hands right there on the Buddha. And then this, I believe, is part of the, uh, the stupa right here. Yeah, there's not a whole lot left. Most of the walls are kind of falling down. But if somebody has tied a string here, they have a string that goes to a little spirit house. And they do that at a lot of the temples. They'll have a, a string that will tie like the Buddha and then the people will be able to like hold on to the string for some of their ceremonies and stuff like that. And then this, it, here's a little piece of one of the marker stones. So that would have been out here, you know, marking the, uh, probably right here on top of one of these. So that would have been the uh, Sema stones or the marker stones around the ordination hall. Okay, now let's go look over that chetty. Yeah, this looks like the last little bit of plaster here. So there would have been some little notches like you see right there that would have had some Buddha images in it and probably some more that were surrounding that whole jetty. And then they would have had some little things at the four corners and uh, probably like a little walkway and stuff at one time that you would have been able to access it. But uh, there's no way up there now. It's just, uh, it's just a jetty out here. Now this temple like I said, was on the edge of Ayodhya. And uh, it was kind of the old kingdom that was over there. If you go over to the east of the island, over there at Wat Mayong, Wat Kuti Dao, and a bunch of the others, that was where there was a settlement that was actually in this area before the kingdom of Ayutthaya. And then it, whenever Ayutthaya you know, was founded, it kind of took off and uh, became a thriving metropolis that at one point reached like a million people here before the Burmese sacked it. And then you have a cool little, uh, looks like a little bell tower to me. There's nothing inside of that now. It's just a, kind, of a, kind of a listing little structure. And then there would have been something inside there, probably like a, like a little Buddha. I guess it more looks like more like a Chetty, but it's kind of an interesting little structure. And then behind it over here, you can see some more bases of some uh, chetties. And then there would have been the prayer hall up here, and it's just the base. We'll take a look at it. Let's look at a little bit more of the chetty. You can see here, they would have had some work here on the side of it, but it's all gone now just with the, uh, just with the bricks. Yeah, the main road here now goes between this. This is the, the main like east-west road when you first come in to the island. And this, uh, this ruin here is kind of on the, uh, I guess like the southeastern part of the main island. And this is the, uh, the base of that principal stupa. You can see it has still a little bit of the plaster and stuff like that around the bottom, but there's not a whole lot left. And then here's the top of one of these chetties that's just kind of fallen down. Over here, all these are just uh, piles of bricks now. There's no real, uh, no real character to them. They're just uh, sitting out here with trees and stuff growing. And then uh, another top of one of the chetties. Yeah, I really wished, I mean, this is in such a great location. This could be pretty cool if they would restore it and let the monks come back in residence and stuff like that to over here. And then you see here's some more of the plaster work. This would have been the very top of the chetty and it's just over here on the, on the ground now. And then kind of the, the remnants of a couple more of the chetties over here. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot left of most of this. I've done a few videos where uh, they've restored some of them and I really like it. I really enjoy going and seeing these old buildings that they've fixed up instead of just seeing the bricks laying down here on the ground. So this is uh, the next little prayer hall. Let's get up in here and 
got to climb up this wall to get into it. This is what the building would have been. So you see these uh, little bricks down here on the ground. These would have been the columns that would have went up to support the roof. And you can see the shape. They would have been shaped like an octagon, which was uh, Ayutthaya style. They kind of saw the island of Ayutthaya here as an octagon. So you see a lot of the columns and stuff that will reflect that. They'll, they'll put uh, octagon columns to support the roof and stuff. And this would have been the main Buddha here. There would have been another support behind it for the roof and two here in the front. And you can see just the legs and a few odds and ends. And I don't know if there would have been an exit to, uh, to the west that would have led into the chetty. It's hard to say what would have been back here. You can't see now because there's a, there's a chetty right there. But that would have led you right to here. And that's the principal stupa to this, uh, chet this, uh, t this temple grounds. Yeah, I really like these old buildings. These old Ayotia st style buildings are, to me, are very cool. And it would be really nice if you could come over here and see what they look like again. And then there's a couple more chetties that would have been surrounding this. This is a fairly good sized ruin. You know, now it's, it's surrounded by houses and stuff like that. But there would have probably been more to it. Now back whenever this was Ayutthaya, there would have been wooden houses all around here. All of those would have either been burned or would have uh, been abandoned and would have decayed after the fall of Ayutthaya. Well, here's the stairwell. I missed the stairwell. I hiked up the, or climbed up the wall. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at this, uh, this building over here. This is kind of the, uh, the interesting part, other than the, uh, the style of the Chetty. This they call the Foreign Settlement House. Now it's kind of in a little bog, so we might get, it, we might get a little wet looking at it. Okay, this is a Western style structure. And there was a lot of uh, Persians, and uh, other people from the Middle East that would come here, they were traders. And you see a little bit of that influence in the windows. I think it was Wat Mai that had a really nice uh, foreign settlement building that was on it. And there's also a couple of these buildings like uh, Wat Kuti Dao and another one that have, uh, have some buildings that they, uh, like the important nobles and stuff like that would stay in whenever they came to the temple. And I think that's what they used for, for this one here also. Oh, there's no windows on this side or doors. But this is, uh, this is pretty nice. Still in good shape. I mean, as far as uh, the way it goes, considering it's been abandoned for a long time. Let's look inside of here. Okay, looks like just, uh, just swamp stuff. Let's stick our head in one of these little windows if we, uh, if we can. Yeah, this little doorway here has a tree growing right here that'll eventually start uh, destroying it. Looks like just grass and all of that in it now. Yeah, there's a standing water over here, so we're not going to be able to look. Yeah, that's on the west side of that little bog. Yeah, there's too much water there, but it's just grass on the inside and then the, uh, the four walls. So it looks like it would have probably been like two story at one time. This would have been the windows on the, the lower floor and it would have been just on the uh, north side of this temple. Now this was uh, the site for the uh, Oath of Allegiance. Oh, we got a little dog that's wandered over here. Uh, I guess it was uh, King the I that was the one that uh, had people that would swear allegiance. And those guys, they would go and, uh, you know, they would go and do stuff like attack uh, the Khmer Empire and uh, Lao, all of that stuff. So they would swear allegiance to the king and then they were, uh, sworn to be his uh, loyal and faithful servant. And they did that here at this temple. And you can see this is the chetty, and this is the, the little prayer hall, and then the ordination hall is on the other side. And then you can see all the bases and stuff of the chetty. All right, well, I got the geese going crazy. And then I got a dog over here that he's barking at, barking at me and barking at the geese. All right, guys, so that finishes up our video over here at this little temple. To me, this was pretty interesting. I really, really enjoy walking around and kind of exploring some of these old ancient temples that are over here in Ayutthaya. It's never been restored to uh, working condition. 
you know, all of this was abandoned or destroyed whenever the Burmese uh, sacked the city. They took everything that was of value, the wooden burn the buildings burned down, and the ones that didn't burn down were left out to the jungle and either uh, decayed or were looted or whatever. So, you know, the sands of time has really taken a toll on places like this, which is a shame. I really enjoy all of this and I would just love to see them come in and restore it and let the monks come back in and let the Thai people come over and enjoy it. You know, right now it's just a pile of bricks out here next to the road, kind of forgotten, even though everybody can see it. You know, I've been by this temple like 50 times and, you know, it's just kind of a, it's just there. It's not even really being enjoyed by anybody. Uh, I've never seen anybody walking around here even looking at it or taking pictures or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, it's a shame, but what can you do? It's the way things are. So anyway, guys, uh, that'll finish us up here at this temple, which was, uh, you know, where they used to do the, uh, the Oath of Allegiance ceremony and uh, has some ties to pre Ayutthaya. So it's a historic temple that most of the information has been lost, you know, or forgotten, whatever. So uh, anyway, it, this is the kind of videos I do. So if you like this kind of content and you know, you're new to my channel, subscribe. I, uh, I go and kind of look at things that interest me and this interested me today. So here we are. So if, uh, if you want, you know, subscribe and then you're notified when I post a new video. And click the like button. You know, it just takes a second, smash the like button and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me, uh, tell me anything. Tell me what you liked about the temple or anything like that. You know, I would, I would be appreciative. And if you want me to do something different, tell me also in a comment. And uh, I'll do my best to make a video if I can. And so anyway, guys, from here in Ayutthaya, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.